Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another comic book review. And today's review is Faithless, issue number one from chapter two. Now, yes, there's already been a chapter one, but I'm picking up here in chapter two, issue number one. Now, just a warning before we go any further, this comic is strictly intended for mature audiences. Some of the drawings are very, very graphic. There's a lot of sexual innuendo, there's some drug use, there's a lot of foul language, and it's definitely, definitely only intended for adults. So let's get on with the review. The story follows a young woman named Faith who is a painter but is struggling with her creativity. She also has a very unique group of people that she associates herself with. Faith has a female, let's say acquaintance or a special friend named Poppy who here they have a very graphic relationship via video chat. During what looks like a late night talk show, we are introduced to Luis who the show's host is giving him credit for discovering Faith as the next big artist. Faith is portrayed as someone who only speaks through Luis. As their strategy appears to be, sometimes the less you say can be more powerful, as Luis says. Watch, they'll be hanging on every word that comes out of her mouth, and that's going to make her a superstar. There's a brief glimpse into Faith's backstory as she has a cab driver take her to a bar called The Blues House. Here she sits in the car and hesitates to get out. The cab driver asks her, what's this place to her? She says, home. But as she stays put in the car, the cab driver asks her, what is she afraid of? She questions him with, afraid? And then we see Faith staring at a blank white canvas as she says, she is a fraud. It's then Solomon, who we got introduced to earlier in this comic, that tries to give her a confidence boost so that she can let her imagination run freely. He tells her that a white canvas is perfection, and then when he looks at a blank canvas, he feels the need to fill it up, to fuck up perfection. Faith tells him she's not so confident in her abilities. Solomon tells her that self-doubt can lead to being the most creative. As Faith sleeps the night away, she finds herself trapped in a very bizarre nightmare, one in which blood falls down a tower of nude statues. As she wakes up in a cold sweat, she finds herself to finally have the confidence to paint the canvas red, let's just say in her own very unique way, but she won't be painting alone as Solomon shows up to lend a hand. Now issue two of chapter two is gonna be called A Bloody Good Time. But as far as my review for issue number one of chapter two of Faithless, it was definitely interesting. I mean, it's definitely pretty out there, but at the end of the day, it was a good read and it was something different I would have never picked up. So I actually am glad I picked it up. It definitely is a different type of read and it was a very fun and interesting read. I actually had to read it twice to kind of like soak it all in and I did enjoy it at the end. Now, if you're offended by anything, I would definitely not pick up Faithless, that's for sure. But if you can like let your imagination run wild and not kind of like be pigeonholed down to what a standard comic is, I definitely think Faithless issue number one of chapter two is an interesting and good read. Now as far as picking up issue number two, I'm definitely interested in picking it up and seeing where it goes and we'll see how long we continue with the series. If it's something that kind of runs stagnant or doesn't catch my interest, I'll just stop. But I really do want to give issue number two of chapter two a fair shot all right guys if you like comic book reviews like this make sure you subscribe here to toned in entertainment for future videos subscribe to the channel do it go now do it now